Our jerky journey begins in a popular destination for outdoor recreation and packable snacks. So it's kind of a nice little snack to kind of like put in your bag. It's in plastic. You open it up. It's got protein. It's good for you. And uh, so it kind of works. Bill Kittrich is the man behind North Conway House of Jerky. The eye-popping variety of dried protein draws people into their downtown location. They're kind of blown away and it's like, it's a little overwhelming because obviously they're looking around at like 30, 40, 50 things of jerky and uh, they don't even know where to begin, most of them. Sure, North Conway House of Jerky has mainstream flavors like teriyaki and bourbon beef, but if tourists want to add a culinary adventure to their vacation, bring your appetite. Then we have turkey jerky. We have biltong, which is South African jerky. We have vegan jerky. We have pineapple jerky. And then of course we have about probably 12 to 15 exotic jerkies like camel, kangaroo, whiskey rabbit, python, boar, venison, buffalo, uh, shark, uh, you name it, we have it. Speaking of exotic meats, the healthy buffalo in Chichester is known for, well, buffalo. We have about 27 different products. Um, so we, our anchor product um, was buffalo, ostrich, wild boar, alligator. Turns out, if you don't want to cook those exotic meats, you can start with the dried snack version. Do these some of these exotic meats make a good beef jerky? Yeah, they do actually. We've got about 10 different varieties of jerkies now. So we have buffalo, buffalo, elk, venison, wild boar. We had yak for a while, we can't get that right now. Because jerky remains so popular. No worries, there's plenty more on the menu. How do they react when they see this variety in front of them? For most men, it's like women being in a chocolate store. They love it. Next, we head to a jerky company in Brentwood that drops the beef from beef jerky. How is it different to make jerky out of a mushroom? So my process is a little bit different than what most people do. William Dunkerley runs Dunk's Mushrooms, known for delicious mushrooms, most of which are sold to local restaurants and retailers. As for the leftovers... It's a perishable product, so I had to figure out a way when I had extra to do something with it, and I was turning it into jerky. Using vacuum tumblers, he turns mushrooms into tasty jerky in almost no time. We can vacuum tumble the mushrooms with marinade for approximately 20 minutes and achieve the same results as an 18-hour marinade. Describe for me the texture and taste compared to traditional jerky. So I would say the taste is very much the same. Dunk's most common mushroom jerky comes from shiitake and oyster mushrooms. It's more similar to a, a tough beef jerky for the oyster, and the shiitake is a little bit more chewy. You know, I have many, many people tell me that, oh, I don't even like mushrooms, but I love that jerky. Speaking of loving beef jerky, Mike Tanner of Dunbarton turned his love into a business. We started out selling beef jerky at the London Every Flea Market. <laughs> He's been selling his Heidi Joe's jerky for a long time. 23 years. Come on, seriously? Seriously. In the late 1990s, Mike decided he wanted a better beef jerky. I wasn't happy with what I was buying, so I came up with my own. First, his budding beef biz needed a name, so he got together with his wife, Heidi Jo, and her sister for an official meeting. <laughs> Me and her sister sat down with a six-pack of beer one night and put our heads together. <laughs> I was and in another room. And that's where Heidi Joe's jerky came from.
Heidi Joe's jerky has grown over the years. They now boast nine flavors, often sold at local fairs and malls and online. Yeah. Well, what do people say when they eat your jerky? What's the reaction? Oh, they love it. They, they just want to know where they can get more. But even Mike admits their spicy habanero is for the brave. Um, it's anything hot. I'll eat anything hot, but the habanero is just it's a little much for me. And if you want more heat in the meat, then meet Robert de Salazar. I like spicy stuff, so that's why I, you know, kind of lean towards the spicy. He agreed we'd try one of his spiciest beef jerkies together. Well, it is the Ghost of Scorpion Reaper, so I am, I'm going to eat the same thing as you. His homegrown Seabrook company, Roberto's Premium Beef Jerky, makes a variety of natural flavors, but the Ghost of Scorpion is kind of legendary. That is a combination of four very hot peppers. It has ghost, it has scorpion, it has habanero, and it has Carolina Reaper pepper in it. So some of the four hottest peppers in the world. Using powders from those notorious peppers, he makes a mouth burner, still hoping to combine good flavor and fire. There's a fire in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, it is hot. Fighting through the tears, I learned he can up the heat even more. Have you yeah. ever made one spicier? Yes. I've actually had people do like YouTube videos of like challenges. Yeah, it, it's hot. Whatever you do, don't drink any, don't drink water or anything. If you're going to drink something, drink milk. Wow. Okay. I'm going to go get some ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're very welcome.